Good morning. Right, this is a um, very brief explanation on how I did my photo vibrance video. Um, this is for a team shot for a, a local accountancy firm who specialise in doctor's practices. Um, all these ladies were shot individually. Uh, you can see here, you know, every single one of them is a separate layer. Um, so on the background behind, that's their standard um, background. Here we go. I'm going to make that a bit smaller though so it fits. Not completely, but just to give it a little bit more of that nice little whooshy bit behind them. And behind them, just for, um, I'll probably do this a bit more uh, accurately if I was spending a bit more time on it, but for the video, let's just do a nice soft shadow area. Yeah, I didn't, didn't blur that enough, so let's just add a quick bit more blur onto it. That's better. And then maybe opacity, soft light, there we go. Oh, grab the wrong thing. There. Now we also have, they have a wave that I'd like to put in at some point. And of course their logo, which is a little bit big there. So I've got the wrong layer again, there we go. Put that down, just down in the corner. Bring that back up to size. Oh, too far, there we go. Right, so now the girls are all laid out how they are, but I think it would be quite nice if um, there was a little bit more discrepancy in size between them all, so the camera has a bit more chance to move around. So let's make some of the back ones a little bit smaller. So the camera can really move about people. No, oh, put two there at once. They must be linked, yes they are. That's fine, they can stay together. Bring Tori over a little bit. And uh, make her a tiny bit smaller. And actually, let's bring Natalie to the front. There we go. Move over slightly. Make a tiny bit bigger. Right. So we'll Amy, let's unlink her and make her. A little bit smaller. So we've got three layers, I reckon. Bring Liz down a bit. Right, so that's the basic setup. And then I want that wave just to be in the picture. As a separate layer, say between about halfway, so between the front and the back. So it needs to, this needs to be in front of that. There we go. That looks about right. And change the opacity. Although saying that changing the opacity in Photoshop won't do anything, we need to change the opacity in um, Photo Vibrance when we do it. So that will do for a basic layout for the moment. So now what we want to do is change it into all the uh, the different layers we're going to be saving into. Photo vibrance. So let's get rid of everything and start from the back frontwards. Right, so let's have the background and then uh, we'll save that. We'll save that, save this copy just so it keeps everything layered for the moment. And go into the folder which I've set up somewhere there, I guess.
and I'll just save as one, two, three, four, five, just so I know what order the layers are going to be saved in. We want to save the back one, we save the background as a JPEG or a PNG, but I think JPEG takes up less space, so we'll just save that as a JPEG for the moment. All right. Now we want the background shadow, which we could attach to the rear ladies. Let's do that. Oh, Tor is not a real one. Donna is. Tor in front. Right, and then we want to get rid of the background. And let's make that shadow a little bit. Actually, looking at that, the shadow, of course, is now solid, so it's going to need to be saved as a separate layer. Um, right, so okay. Get rid of that for a second. Save those ladies. That's the first PNG. So I haven't used it enough to get the uh, thing to pop up in my quick things yet. Right, so let's save that as group. And without the background, that will now be three. Okay, now get rid of those girls and then just save the background blurry shadow as its own layer. And then we can save the wave as the layer. Now three. And then the ladies in front. Oh, don't know what the shadow is, get rid of that. Oh, it's two Taurus. Right, which one do I want? There we go. That's why she must have been hidden. I think it is. There we go, that'll do. That's good enough. Although technically I should save Liz as a, yeah, go on, let's make this a bit more complex. Let's save Liz as she's slightly behind as her own layer. There we go, she's now group four. And bring the other ladies up. I've got both Taurus again. There we go, that's the one I want. Because if I'd saved everything into the right folder in the first place, I'd be saving a bit of time here, but uh, that's all for the business thing. This is just for you. So, uh, apologies for the slight delay there. Right, and get rid of all of them. And then the last bit over the top is the logo. PNG six. There we go. And now we have everything we need to go straight into Photo Vibrance. So now we're going to. Photo Vibrance. We can open up our background image and select 3D Parallax. It's the right landscape size, so just click you know, anything to clone or cut out, so just keep clicking Next. And then uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we get it in the middle of the picture. There we go. Then we open up our background shadow. Um, change the blending to soft light. There we go. It gives it a nice gentle soft blur. Then it's the real ladies. 
and the wave. And change the blending on that to lighten. There we are. There it is. And the front ladies. There we go. And finally, the logo. There we are. Right, now, to move them all a little bit further forward, just move the logo really far to the front, because that way, when we zoom in, that'll disappear out of shot quite quickly. So group five and four, that's Liz and the front ladies, they need to be very close together, of course Liz is only just behind them. Then group three is the wave, we'll have that somewhere like that. Then group two and group one, that's the back girls and the shadow, they could be quite close together, and we want them we want all the ladies to be fairly close together, actually, or it's going to be very weird zooming in and out of them. So let's try that for a start. Now, timelines. Uh, that's the original thing. My double click at the moment, for some reason, because I'm working on a tablet with a pen, isn't working. I'm going to try it. Oh, it says it's done it there. Oh, they have got one. Hey! Let's move that right to the end, because that's we want the end shot to be exactly the same as the first, so it can loop. Um, Go back to the front image again, and oh, it is okay. It's working now. It's very irritating. Must have had a glitch. Oh, we want to change what we want to do. Do we want to do is extend the duration of the video? So let's make it about twenty-five seconds. And there we go on the right-hand side over here. Let's move that keyframe right at the end again, and then go about two seconds in. So we have two seconds of a still image, and then we want to zoom in. So we now. Can duplicate that again if it will. Will it let us? No, so add a keyframe. And I'm not quite sure where this added that to, why it's added at the end. And then from that one, click on that to make sure it's right. We want to zoom into our first lady, so if she's over here. Zoom out a little bit just to give it a little bit more over there. Okay, and then add a keyframe. Oh, I'm not sure why it's suddenly adding them all to the end. That's very irritating. Photo vibrance, very irritating indeed. Normally. I'll tell you why it's doing it, it's because I've already got that one there. Okay. There's Maria, and then is it going to let me duplicate that? Oh, okay, that'll be a bit easier then. I don't know it's duplicated the front one though. There we go, and then and it's not doing it again, so bring that back here, and then zoom into Donna at the back there. Well, I think those background ladies are a little bit close, a little bit far away rather, so let's bring them in. And the wave. Add keyframe, drag it over, and then zoom into Abby and Liz. Add a keyframe. Move and zoom into Amy. You might decide these zooms are too much. You might not want to go quite this dramatic. And then back to Tori at the front. Because you get a nice zigzag across. And then afterwards, I'd probably then open this up in a video editor and add names separately as it comes up as little flashes. Because I'm not sure that's 
it might be possible there, but I think it would be far too complex and a lot easier to do in another program. Let's zoom into Anna. You can see how if, if my double click works, it would be a lot easier just to then go from one to the other. But I guess, you know, it's not designed for uh, um, massive Photoshop users who use tablets and uh, pens to work with rather than mice. So, because I use a Wacom tablet, I just say if anyone's ever used a Wacom tablet, it's a game changer. It really does speed up work, particularly if you're sort of a creative Photoshop user. So I think that's probably the last one. Um, and then the last shot will be back to the beginning. Yes, there we go. Let's reduce that time again. No, I've got to move that. Dip. Right, there we go. Now, let's see how that looks so far. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I will say, though, I think Donna, wherever she is, there she is, I think that could be slightly less. But I think she's just... That's a bit too much of a jump there. Right, so... Now, you could add particles and stuff, but for me, and your purposes, I think that's probably sufficient. So then you do save it. I should probably have saved it in the first place, actually. Let's save it, project. And then you publish. And there you go. All done.